Now for this question, the equation of a curve is given to you by this, and the equation of a line is given you by, to you by this. The curve and the line intersect at the point A and B. Now intersect means they meet or cut or join each other. Now we do understand that whenever we see intersection, we will be having, we will have to solve a simultaneous equation. Now, equation number one is given to you by this. Equation number two is given to you by this. Now here you can see you can make y become the subject pretty easily. So y will be 9 minus 3x. So now we have y, here we have y, we can substitute in each other, you will have, on one side you will have x squared minus 4x plus 7 equal to y. Now y is also equal to 9 minus 3x. So now we have this equation to solve, let's see what can we do. So let first let's send everything to one side, you will have x squared. So minus 4 plus 3, that should be minus 1. And then plus 7 minus 2 will be minus 2. So minus 9 equal to minus 2. So now in this case we just have to, uh, what? We can use factorization to see what happens. That will be x times x, 2 is 2 times 1. Minus 1 is simply minus 2 plus 1, right? So x will have to be the value of 2, x will be minus 1. Now for when x equal to 2, what is the value of y? y will be 9 minus 3 times 2 is 6, 9 minus 6 will be 3. And y will be what? 9 minus 3 times minus 1, so 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. So point A will be uh, given to you by this one, minus 1, 12. And point B is 2, 3. Now again, uh, why did I choose A to be this one and B to be this one? It's very simple. In the order, order of the alphabets, we understand that A comes before B, right? And because minus 1 comes before 2, we will choose in this order, if that makes sense. Now, here again, we don't need to find A or B, we just have to find the midpoint of AB. So the midpoint will have to be what? Pretty easy. x1 plus x2, so 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 will be divided by 2. And then we'll have 3 plus this will be 15 divided by 2. So the midpoint M is actually equal to half. And this will be simply 7 and a half, which is 7.5, same thing as this. So this is shown as required for part one of the question. Now for part two, we have to find the points, the coordinates of the point Q on the curve at which the tangent is in the same direction to the line this. So for example, we just have to understand something here. For example, I have a curve here. Uh, let's say my curve is something like this, right? First thing. Now. I have to find the point, the, the point Q on, on the curve at which the tangent is in the same direction to this. So let's say my point is here and I have to find, this is called Q, I have to find this point where my tangent right, is in the same direction as this line. So what does it mean when two lines are in the same direction? It means that they are parallel and they have the same gradient. Now this line is equal to y equal to minus 3x plus 9. And by comparison of y equal to mx plus c, we realize that these two, which is m, is equal to minus 3. So the gradient have to be minus 3. So which means the concept behind this question is I have to find the point Q such that my tangent here has gradient of minus 3. Now we understand that the gradient is what? The gradient is simply dy by dx. Right. So now let's find dy by dx first. So y is equal to this for the curve. So dy by dx will be 2x minus 4. This will be dy by dx. Now we know that at this point we need the gradient to be equal to minus 3 because it needs to be parallel to the line. Now 2x have to be minus 3 plus 4 is 1. x will be the value of half. Right, now from this point on, we understand that to find y, we simply replace back in the main equation here. That will be what? 0 0.5 squared minus 4 times 0 0.5 minus uh, plus 7. That should be 5.25. So the point Q have to be 0 0.5 and then 5.25. So the main concept behind this question is we have to understand that because 
we need the tangent to be in the same direction as the line this. Now by being by same direction, we understand the gradient have to be the same. So we first find the gradient of the line, it is equal to minus 3. Now we understand that at the point Q, we also require that line or that tangent to have the same gradient. Now tangent, we understand the, the gradient is equal to dy by dx, right? We have to know this. And now dy by dx is found by this equation. We have this. We know that the gradient have to be minus 3. And then equate solve x and then find the value of y. That will be part 2 of the question. Now for part 3, we have to find the distance mq, so pretty easy. Since we know m is 0 0.5 and we have the value of 7.5. Now you can just do this by observation, for example, I have this. 0 0.5 is here, the first point is 0 0.5, 5.25 will be somewhere over here. This is my point uh, q. Now here m have 0 0.5 again, same x value, and 7.5 will be vertically upwards here, 7.5. So what is the distance? It will be this difference, right? So the distance will be 7.5 minus 2.5.25. That should be 2.25. Distance will be 2.25. That will be uh, units, obviously. Now again, you don't need to uh, you know, do this. You can always revert back to using the formula, which is what? which is uh, distance mq have to be root of so first we can do uh, x2 x2 uh, minus um, x1 that will be 0 square and then uh, this minus this so 7.5 minus 5.25 7.5 minus 5.25 that should be 2.25 square that will be simply root of 2.25 squared, that should be 2.25 as your answer. Okay, that will be this question that we have in relations to uh, quadratics, I think solving simultaneous equations, and then also a bit of differentiation in this case.